Before I came here, I didn't really think that I will love frogs. But immediately I get here and I was going out at night. It's just really amazing to see this diversity. They are really sensitive to changes that the humans are producing. So I like to learn about them and how any change or any disturbance that the humans made affect them. Last year, I was studying a poison dart frog, which is a new species to science. We call it Amerega sp1. I was really interested to know we only found this frog in the SLR part of this forest. SLR is basically an area of this forest in regeneration that was selected locked. We didn't find in the other areas, so I was really interested to know why. Which are the resources that make a good habitat in SLR for this frog and no like the other streams. So I was comparing three types of streams and looking to see which resources change depending on the like, human disturbance. What I found was in the stream where the frog lives, in the SLR areas, so there are more canopy cover. Having a canopy cover, you have like humidity and the frogs need humidity. You have also there like the big rocks and the big rocks help to create like little pools of water. Pools where the frog can take the tadpoles and the tadpoles can grow. SLR streams create good microhabitat for, for the frog that I am studying. And it's also a way how can I show how the human impact can affect not just forests, also affect streams and the species living there and the distribution of the, of the species living inside there. We have a huge biodiversity like birds species, mammals species, frog species, butterfly species. It's really important to protect them because we have a huge biodiversity here. We still have good forests. My advice for any other biology student is if you have the opportunity to go to the forest, just do. Because you are going to learn there, you are going to learn in the forest. There is no like university or classroom where you are going to learn same as the forest. Just do, just take the adventure and just learn. That's my advice.